Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to show you how you can create additional document libraries on a SharePoint site. Uh, let me first explain to you what I'm talking about. So when you create a new SharePoint site and you could create it from uh, you know, SharePoint, uh, you maybe created a new team in Teams, uh, behind the scenes, it spins up obviously a SharePoint site. And that SharePoint site, which is what I have here, this site happens to be a, a team site, um, part of the Microsoft 365 group. And I do have Microsoft Teams attached to it as well. So by default, that site has one document library. And by the way, any site you create in SharePoint by default only has one document library. However, um, you, you might need to create additional libraries, all right? Sometimes, you know, one library might be enough, but sometimes you might need to create additional libraries. Why? You know, a couple of reasons. First of all, maybe you have lots of content, right? You just want to split it among multiple filing cabinets, if you will. So you might need to create additional libraries. Maybe you want to build a library with some unique metadata. So you kind of need to break it apart. Uh, or uh, another reason in this particular case, if you notice this site is connected to Microsoft Teams and the folders you get to see here, I uh, know the folders I kind of created manually. These are the folders that were created when I created channels, standard channels in Microsoft Teams. So um, you, you do get to see this general folder all the time and all the different uh, you know, folders that are created for you automatically. All right, and sometimes I just want to organize uh, documents my own way, not through uh, how I organize conversations uh, in Microsoft Teams. So how do we create additional libraries? Uh, let me show you. All you need to do is just navigate to the site, all right, the SharePoint site, and then go to site contents. All right, so let's go to gear icon, site contents. Here we go. And then obviously by default, you will see all the libraries that already exist. Uh, this is the one that kind of exists uh, out of the box, all right? You cannot actually do anything with it. You cannot even remove it because this library is necessary for SharePoint to work, for Teams to work. That's where the channels are, channel folders are, right? Uh, we have some of the other working libraries like site assets, you know, site pages, all that stuff, but we are going to create new ones. So you just click new document library, and this is where you pretty much spell out uh, the name of your library, all right? And it offers you to add this to navigation. Yeah, why don't we take advantage of that? Here we go. All right, perfect. So here is our additional library, all right? And um, that's pretty much it. I mean, if let me go back to site contents, you know, here is our default one. Here is the one we created. You can have, you can create as many libraries as you wish on a site. There is really no limit. And it is a best practice to split the content apart among multiple libraries if you have you know, lots of uh, content, lots of files, right? Uh, to avoid all the trouble and technical limitations, I do encourage you to create multiple libraries. And obviously, uh, each and every library can be synchronized as necessary as well. Um, so you have that option as well. Uh, once again, feel free to take uh, advantage of this little trick. Um, additional libraries are always great uh, on a SharePoint site. Uh, a great way, you know, to split the content apart. And uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you today. So hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.